dropped. And that'll be an error on Colin Cole. As that was a tough chance, but it was right in his breadbasket. Cole not used to playing out there at second base. And that's what's plagued the beat diggers all season, those errors as they come into the game with an 0-5 record. And already, unfortunately, for Brush and Air there to begin the game, the pitch. And that is a fastball for a strike here to J.P. Hamer. And again, an unfamiliar position for Cole. He's exclusively a catcher, but Hunter Ludgate is catching today. No balls and one strike to Hamer. The stretch by Garrett. And a step off. Well, you got the five starters out, and Coach Fergus has to shuffle around players. And it's a crosswind, so this is not as bad as it was against Sterling about a week and a half ago. The pitch, swing and a miss, runner going to second that throws up the shortstop side. It's an easy stolen base. Well, the Mustang, Ortega. And no balls and two strikes. And the wind is relentless. Yeah, it's pretty nasty blowing across the outfield out there. Oh, and two. Garrett looks good in the early going. The right-hander delivers. Swung on and fisted in the air towards the second baseman, Cole. He makes the catch. Back to second is Ortega. And there's one down. That'll bring up the left fielder, Jimmy Keller. Okay, I think we had lost the... Uh, Keller's up there now, and the pitch, and that's a strike. No balls and one strike. All right, the game began with a fly ball towards Cole, the second baseman today for Brush, and he dropped it, then a stolen base, then a, a little flare hit by Hamer, which was caught by Cole, and that one is up and away, one ball and one strike. And now we're back at it here. We had lost a little bit of our signal momentarily. One ball, one strike. We'll set up the beat diggers defensively here momentarily. And Garrett looks back and the pitch swung on and driven on the ground and that is fair inside the left field line. Rounding third is Ortega. He's gonna score on the chopper by Jimmy Keller. And the Mustangs lead one to nothing. And that was just simply a, a big hopper down the left field line. And so Fort Morgan's on the board early. Now, keep in mind, Trey McBride is not with the Mustangs today. The stretch and the offering. And that changeup is down and away. One ball and no strikes. You know, KCAP, my wife, and I know it's tough to tell the difference between a fastball and a changeup. Because it comes out of the hand the same. It's just, it's, it, it's a different spin. Right. At the, yeah, right. And it's a strike. And that looked like a fastball in the outside corner. Kayla's a veteran of baseball wars here. Something like that. But not a veteran of the wind. <laughs> no, I'm not. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. One nothing, Fort Morgan to the first. And the throw back to first, running going to second. And the throw towards second, Keller caught in a rundown. The tag is made by Jade Queen. And that's a pickoff. And he was looking maybe for a balk, but that'll go one to three to six. And there's two down here in the first inning. That's something that the V diggers have struggled with is base running. But that time, an excellent move there by the pitcher, Ben Garrett. They executed that very well. You have to turn your mic up because that is overwhelming. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. So Linker's up there with nobody on. And the offering. Swung on and popped up extremely high on the left side of the infield. The pitcher, Garrett, along the third base line, squeezes it. And he makes the catch, and that's it for the Mustangs. Diggers hold him to one. Well, they held him to one, but it could have been zero. The beat diggers do commit an error. There was a base hit. And nobody left as we head to the bottom of the first inning. In brush, Fort Morgan won, and the B-Diggers are coming to bats on B106 and B106.com. 
The Mustangs lead one to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first inning. On a, another unbearable weather day and rush this season, and we're not even out of the month of March. John Beltran back with KCAT, Kayla Castro, and we'll set the B Digger lineup brought to you by Equitable Savings and Long Batting first as the center fielder Justin Griffith. Right fielder Carson Rule hits second. The pitcher Ben Garrett bats third. Gunnar Guzman is the cleanup hitter. He's the third baseman batting fifth. Second baseman Colin Cole. The first baseman Bryson Wooldridge hits sixth. Jade Queen, the shortstop, bats seventh. Catcher Hunter Ludgate hits eighth. And Josiah Henry, the left fielder, bats ninth. The Mustangs defensively have the Nick Norris at first. The second baseman is Devin Musman. Austin Apple at third. The shortstop is Isaac Linker. Around the outfield, Jimmy Keller in left, J.P. Hamer in center. The right fielder is Jacob Ortega. Behind the plate is Connor Fajardo. On the mound, the right-hander, the senior Bobby Tolson. And here is Justin Griffith heading for the left side. Mustangs 5-2 and two going into the game. The B-Diggers 0-5. And, and that off-speed pitch is down and in. One ball and no strikes. Well, Ben Garrett certainly looked very effective for Brush in the top of the first, getting his first varsity start. And the 1-0, the changeup is in there for a strike, and the count is level at one ball and one strike. Got to be hard pitching in this wind. And the offering, changeup is low. Well, we saw that with the weather as inclement as it was a week and a half ago against Sterling, which has a very good team this year, that actually was advantage to brush. 2-1 pitch, changeup is low again, 3-1. And that'll be the bugaboo for Tolson if he struggles with his control. That'll keep the beat diggers in a game and maybe overtake Fort Morgan. And that changeup is a strike at the knees on the outer half. It's three and two. Here to Justin Griffith. He thought that was ball four, but it caught the corner and it caught the knees. Yep. Three balls and two strikes. Here to the leadoff hitter for Brush at the bottom of the first inning. Laying down the sign is Fajardo the pitch. Swung on it, chopped slowly to the ground. The first baseman Norris charges, but it's gonna trickle foul. That is a foul ball, as Bobby Tolson was able to get a glove on it as it trickled into foul territory. That was some good teamwork by the Mustangs, though. They all closed in on that pretty good, so had it stayed fair, I think. Well, it would have been a base hit if it stayed fair. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's quite difficult here to keep this microphone free from wind. Now, I know. Kevin Fergus, I think, wondering. That ball was touched, but it was clearly foul. There was no interference there. Now he's coaching first base today as opposed to his customary third. one nothing Fort Morgan and a Jimmy Keller RBI single at the top of the first inning. Bobby Tolson delivers. Mike, even worse. Here's Carson Rule heading for the right side. And the pitch and the curveball is a strike on the inner half. It's no balls and one strike. Follow us on Twitter at B106 as well as the B106 Facebook page. Oh, it's just nice when it settles down for a second. Mother yeah. Nature's cruel out here, man. And the 0-1 offering to Carson Rule. And he takes a change up a little bit low and away from Bobby Tolson. And a count is sitting at one ball and one strike. Man, I'm telling you, I'm getting closer to having soup tonight. The pitch swung on and chopped slowly on the ground to third. It's going to be a long throw by Austin Apple, and that's in time. And retired. Is the to rush. Carson Rule advancing to second is Justin Griffith. Here comes Ben Garrett, the main pitcher. Now you see why I set up in the outfield nine days ago. Yeah, I get it now. No more Miami jokes. Oh, I mean, this is... Man, this is not bad. And the runner going to third. The throw to third is high, and Griffith is in there safely. Well, he took off well before Tolson was about to deliver to the plate, so he got a... A head start there, but then the high throw, and that goes as a stolen base. Now the Bay Diggers have the tying run at third with Fort Morgan up 1-0 here in the bottom of the first. Here's the stretch and the offering, and the curve ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. 
here to Ben Garrett. And the pitch, change up down and away in the dirt. And the count is at one and one. Or two and oh, I should say. Two balls, no strikes. Here to Ben Garrett. And Tolson comes home. And that's a fastball for a strike on the outside corner. Ball two, strike one. One nothing, Fort Morgan, bottom of the first inning. Size of the crowd always depends upon the weather, although Fort Morgan has brought a nice contingent here. Yeah, they have. They really have. 2 1 pitch, and that's up and away. I think all the brush people are out in the outfield in their cars. I don't blame them. <laughs> Should have done the same thing. <laughs> Where I parked is actually not a spot right now. Oh. It's occupied. 3 I, 1 pitch. I have us in center field. We can go. <laughs> you do? Yeah. I'm parked in center field, so if you want to. Miami it. We can head over there. <laughs> okay. Don't put it past me. Three balls and two strikes. And the offering. Swung on and fisted foul off to the right. Not a play. Count remains at three and two. Garrett's trying to stay alive here. On deck is Gunnar Guzman. Bobby Tolson, the senior, gets a sign from Fajardo. And the 3-2 pitch. And the curveball is taken inside. It's a walk to Garrett. And that's a second walk issued by Tolson. So now the B-Diggers have something cooking here, trailing one nothing at the bottom of the first inning. And here is Guzman hitting out of the four hole. We'll have a courtesy runner at first for Brush. Looks like Shane Wrights will be over there. Yeah, I see you. Are you right there? Yeah. Uh, beyond left center? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm trying to keep my mic covered because I think my mic's the one giving us lots of wind. No, mine is that. as well. Don't worry about it. It's... Plus, I'm trying to keep my hands warm. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's pretty... It's pretty rough out here. The stretch pitch to Guzman. And that changeup is a strike on the outer half. It's no balls in one strike. The B-Diggers committed an error in the first inning. That led to an unearned run. Allowed by Ben Garrett. At third is Griffith. Wrights at first with one out in the bottom of the first. Throw back to first back in diving is Wrights. Hey, yeah, can never judge this game by records, even though Fort Morgan's 5-2 and two in the and the B-Diggers are 0-5. Last year, this was an 8-1 to Fort Morgan win, but again, the B-Diggers played some sloppy defense in Fort Morgan. They've got to clean that up today. Swung on grounded right back to the mound. Tolson lifts the third, throws the first for the out. And the trail runner rights advances to second. So two runners in scoring position. But there are two down. Here's Colin Cole. Stepping in for Brush. And the offering. And the breaking ball is fouled back. No balls in one strike. Yeah, we are going to reposition at some point. Upstairs, and the count is at one and one. I mean, we want a quality broadcast as well. And, uh, yeah, and that wind coming from the north is nasty, and there's nothing blocking it. And the pitch. And that is a strike. Ball one, strike two. Here to Cole. Two on and two out. And the offering. And that is a called strike three and Cole strikes out and the B-Diggers strand two of the base pass. They do not score here in this bottom of the first inning. So let's head to the second with the score. Fort Morgan one, brush nothing. This is Mustang and B-Digger baseball on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com.
All right, let's begin the second inning. We're repositioning ourselves. Three balls and no strikes here. And the pitch is taken for a ball. So four balls here to begin. And that was Felix Ortega here against Ben Garrett. As we're in the second inning, Fort Morgan in the lead, 1-0. On a bone-chilling Thursday here. Yeah, we just had to reposition ourselves, so 1-0 here in the second. Austin Apple steps in. Here's a stretch. And the offering. And he squares the bunny, pops it up. That's going to be caught by the catcher. Ludgate back to first. And safe. Okay. All right, so there's one down. Oh, this is going to feel 100% better. My cast strips are helping us out here. All right, so there's one down on the uh, pop up there. One nothing Fort Morgan in the top of the second inning. Felix Ortega again began the inning with a four pitch walk. And then the sacrifice by Austin Apple was unsuccessful. That change up is upstairs. And it's one ball and no strikes. To the number three hitter in this inning, Connor Fajardo. Runner at first and the offering. And that's way outside. Ball two. Here to Apple. Two balls and no strikes. The B Diggers committed an error in the first inning, leading to the run. Off for first is Ortega. We're in the top of the second inning and stepping off is Garrett. The lone hit of the game came from Jimmy Keller. RBI single, plating Jacob Ortega there in the first inning. So back to first and back in diving is Ortega. Trey McBride not with the Mustang today. I had read that it was only about 10 mile an hour winds. If this is 10 miles an hour, then <laughs> then uh, I need new math. The, the pitch, and that is low, the off speed. Three balls and no strikes. The board's got 2-0, and oh, but I believe it's 3-0. and oh. Well, I've got that. I've got it at three and zero. Oh. Here on my score sheet here to Fajardo, Nick Norris on deck. He's getting the start in place of McBride. Thanks, Stubbs Gas and Oil. Your next stop heading out of town during your visit. You can gas up your vehicle, sit down to lunch, get snacks, and your hunting and fishing licenses at Stubbs Gas and Oil in Wiggins. John Beltran here with the Castrops and the changeup in there for a strike. Well, the board's got yeah, two and one. Still have two one, but I thought it was three one. I right. thought we were. Thought we were on. Yeah, I mean, I got a three and one, but let's see. We'll find out here if Garrett throws a ball. Then we'll know exactly what it was. Three balls, one strike, and the offering swung on and grounded left side. And diving as Guzman, the third baseman, he steps, throws the first for the out. An outstanding play there for Guzman to look to second. And I mean that robbed. Fajardo of a base hit. And that'll send up Nick Norris. That's an outstanding, and the B-Diggers need a lot more of that without question. Advancing the second, of course, is Ortega with two down in the second. And the offering swung on and popped foul and out of play off to the left. No balls in one strike. Norris, the number eight hitter in the lineup. Yeah, we are now positioned beyond the left center field fence. The stretch, about a five-step lead at second for Ortega. And the pitch, and that change up is low. And the count levels at one ball and one strike. Now, hopefully the equipment will stay intact, yeah. which I think it will. Right. We have honest people out here. That's right. You can find AC Ice at any local grocery or convenience store near you, AC Ice. And that one is down and away. Again, an off-speed pitch there from Garrett. Two balls and one strike. The board's off. 
So well, I think unless we I were, missed a no, pitch. No, no, we no. It's two balls, one strike. We're fine. They got one and two up there. Again, we'll find out the offering. Swung on and missed. Oh, it was one ball and two strikes. So what I had is a strike was that, or a ball was actually a strike, and it's a strikeout of Nick Norris, and a nice job there by Ben Garrett to strike out Norris. As the uh, the bead diggers do not allow a run here in this second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a man left. Let's head to the bottom of the second inning and brush with the score. Fort Morgan won, and the B-Diggers nothing. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the bottom of the second inning. Ball one to the opening hitter there for the B-Diggers. one nothing. Fort Morgan. The pitch from Tolson is a changeup in there for a strike. On the outer half, one ball and one strike to Bryson Woldridge. Well, let's see if that is. No, that, doesn't that doesn't look like him. No. That's who I had. Two balls and one strike. That doesn't. Let's see who that is. That didn't look like Woldridge at all, based on what I got here. Unless they're hitting for him, and I swing and a miss. Whoever's on deck's number 10. Yeah, that's Jade Queen. So who do you have? Someone. Yeah, unless somebody's hitting for Woldridge. But anyway, officially it's two balls and two strikes, and the breaking ball is inside. Well, that, that could be if his hair's covered. If he is a right-handed hitter. Three balls and two strikes to the opening hitter for Brush here in the bottom of the second inning. one nothing. Fort Morgan swung on and fouled off to the right. If you can spot a number. because Yeah, I think it is based by his waist standing. I think he just has a hoodie on. And yeah, it's covering his, uh, his lengthy hair. Correct. Three and two here. The Bay Diggers down only one nothing here at the bottom of the second inning despite missing five starters, the offering. And that's down and away, and it's a walk here to Bryson Woldridge. Already the third walk issued by Bobby Tolson. And again, that's why his pitch count is up in this game. He's got 29 pitches thrown, and we're only at the bottom of the second inning with nobody out. Here's shortstop Jade Queen, who's hit the ball pretty well for Brush. He was... Two for three, and then one for three in his previous two games. And that pitch is a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here to Queen. Wow. Off of first is Woldridge. The pitch is swung on and missed. Up and away, and the count is leveled at one ball and one strike. Only hit of the game has come from Jimmy Keller. That produced a run. Rockies and Diamondbacks tonight in our sister station, 10-10-K. I saw y'all throw back the first up the first base side, and back in there is Woldridge. The B-Diggers had the leadoff man on in the first inning in Griffith, but he was squandered at third along with a trail runner at second, the offering. And that breaking ball hit Jade Queen. He took it somewhere around the left arm. And now Brush is in business with runners at first and second, and nobody out. And that'll bring up Hunter Ludgate. And the thing that's been impressive so far for Brush has been the pitching of Ben Garrett. Allowing the unearned run, his first varsity start. Bobby Tolson's a senior. He's been in this position many times, a second-year starting pitcher. And that changeup is down and away. One ball and no strikes to Ludgate, who's played multiple positions catching today. Ludgate hitting... 167 on the season. Just one out of six in his third start. Runners take their leads. The pitch. And that change up is low. Same spot, same call. Yeah, Cody Roth behind the plate. A very consistent umpire. His strike zone does not move. 17 balls. 17 strikes so far for Bobby Tolson. 2-0 pitch. Swung on line. That's going to be caught by the second baseman. Flip the second and back in time. Excellent play there by Devin Musman. As the B-Diggers hit into some bad luck there on that line drive. So still two on and now one out. So Brush being very aggressive on a 2-0 pitch. He was swinging. A little bit more elevation. And that would have scored a run. Here's Josiah Henry out of the nine hole. The freshman. Swings and fouls it straight back. No balls in one strike. Okay, Kat, how does it feel here? A lot better. It's a it? lot nicer. Kevin, you got to love this. How many games do you watch from out here? Probably a bunch, right? Yeah, I know. And today, I mean, I was insane to be back there for one inning. 
and the offering. And that's in the dirt. It's blocked nicely there by Fajardo. And quite frankly, even though we're 300 feet away from the action, it does, you can hear, yeah. you can hear the, the, the bat and the ball when they make contact or when the ball makes, uh, bat makes contact with the ball. Off of second is Wildridge, Queen at first, the offering. Change up is a strike on the outer half at the knees. One ball and two strikes to Josiah Henry. Josiah on the season looking for his first base hit. He's gotten on base. And the offering swung on and fouled off to the right. A late swing on that one. Just staying alive. One and two, a terrific athlete is Henry. And that's why he gets a start here with so many of the older players out. He can certainly get the job done here for Brush. Bobby Tolson looks back at the two runners taking their leads the pitch. And the breaky ball is up and in. And Tolson's got to be careful because he's walked three and he's already hit a batter. Remember, a 110 pitch limit, and Tolson's already thrown 40. 1 0 Fort Morgan, bottom two on Jimmy Keller's RBI single in the first. The pitch. Swing, and that ball is fouled at the plate. Got a piece of it. Count remains at 2 and 2 to Henry. Looking to find insurance for your car, home, or even for you? KCAT, who can you call? Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. Two locations in Brush and Fort Morgan. They can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or provide a quote in Meyer Phillips Insurance. And a 2-2 pitch. And a breaking ball swung on and missed. A very effective pitch there by Bobby Tolson as he strikes out Josiah Henry. And there are two down here at the bottom of the second inning. But again, Bobby's going to need an inning where he doesn't throw that many pitches because right now he's averaging well over 20. And now it'll be Justin Griffith back to the top of the order. Walked in the opening inning, was stranded at third. And the pitch swung on that ball is grounded right side of the second baseman. Mussman, and it goes right past him into right field, rounding third. And scoring is going to be Bryson Woldridge. Yeah, Woldridge, and Queen only got the second. I was looking for Queen, the trail runner. Again, that's an unearned run here off the air from Devin Mussman, and the B-Diggers have tied the game at one. So both second basemen have committed an error in the game. And here's Carson Rule, who grounded to third in the opening frame. And he takes a change up for a strike on the outer half belt high at 0 and 1. Yeah, thanks for completing the play by play call. I got to, again, 300 feet away. I'm 20 years. No, I needed that assistance. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, I needed that. The pitch. Swung on, that ball is grounded right side, first baseman Norris plays off his body, then struggles to pick it up, flips to first, and the ball gets by Tolson, headed towards the fence, a run is in, Queen scores, and the third is Griffith, and that'll be another error on the Mustangs, and Brush now leads in the bottom of the second inning, 2-1, to one. and you got to score that on somebody, I think that might have been a little bit of an Aaron toss, it could go either way, but I'm going to call the air there on Norris, Allowing the run to score. And again, Griffith at third. Remaining at first was the hitter, Carson Rule. So no RBIs for Brush in this inning, but they've got the 2-1 to one lead. Here's Ben Garrett. He walked. And Bobby Tolson now pitching into some bad luck. Looked like he was going to get out of it, the pitch. And the changeup is a strike at the knees. No balls in one strike. That was pitch number 46. So if Ben Garrett can work him over here, he could approach the 50-pitch uh, mark quite quickly. And the offering swung on, grounded off the end of the bat to the shortstop. Linker, he's on his knees. He flips the second for the force. And that does it here for the bead diggers on that 6-4 force. And that completes the bottom of the second inning. However, for the bead diggers, they were able to score two runs on no hits. Two errors and two men left. Let's head to the third in Brush with a score. Fort Morgan trailing Brush 2-1 to one on B106 and B106.com. Summer registration is now... John Beltran back with Kayla and Kevin Castro beyond left center field where the bead diggers lead the Fort Morgan Mustangs in Brush. Brush is looking for their first win, but it's 2-1. to one. Here in the top of the third inning... And for the Mustangs, they'll send up the 9-1-2 and two hitters against right-hander Ben Garrett. It'll be Devin Musman, Jacob Ortega, and J.P. Hamer. This game has been very sloppy. Three errors combined and only one hit 
Fort Morgan committed two errors with two outs, which allowed the Bee Diggers to score those two runs. And a pitch from Garrett, and that's up and in. One ball and no strikes to Devin Musman, a junior. Musman, Ortega, and Hamer here in the third. And the offering, and that is up and in as well. Two balls and no strikes. Garrett really hasn't had control issues so far, and has thrown a lot fewer pitches than Tolson. Only 26 going into the inning. But he wants to make sure his defense is able to record outs by throwing strikes. And that one's not even close. Down and away on the off-speed pitch. 3-0. and For a college that will equip you to go anywhere, look no further than Northeastern. For more information, go to njc.edu. 3-0 pitch. And that changeup is in there for a strike. Three balls and one strike. And keep in mind that Garrett began the second inning by walking Ortega on four pitches. So he's in a jam here to begin the, the third, falling behind the first hitter. Swung on and grounded a short. Jade Queen plays it on a tough hop, drops it, throws to first, and that is going to be in time. A nice stretch there by Woodridge up the right field side. And there's one down and an excellent play there by Jade Queen staying with that ball on a little bit of a short hop. And that'll send up Jacob Ortega. He reached on an air and scored in the opening frame. And you look at Brush's first three games of the season, they had the lead in all of their games, and then they were not able to win any of those. They only lost to Sterling 5-2, to two, so the only non-competitive game they played throughout was against Eaton. That was a 16-4 to four victory. And the two umpires are conferring. I wonder if the question whether Woldridge was off the bag or it might have been something else, but either way, there's one down, and Ortega stepping to the plate for Fort Morgan. Heading from the right side. And with that wind blowing, uh, it's a little bit of a crosswind also blowing in. The center fielder Griffith playing pretty shallow, and that pitch is in there for a strike at the knees down the middle. No balls and one strike to Ortega. Ben Garrett, the right-hander, kicks and fires. And that is just outside. Ball one, strike one. The base is empty in the top of the third. Brush two. Fort Morgan one in brush. The wine and the offering. And that was inside. Back to Ortega off the plate, off the glove of Ludgate. Ball two, strike one. Yeah, the way this game is going, it's whoever plays better defense at this point because neither team has put together an offensive stroke to the first two innings. 2-1 two pitch, and that's down and away. And the pitchers as well. That's what's making for some of these longer innings. Yeah, but can you imagine throwing in this wind? It is tough. No, you're right. These are conditions that are difficult. Three balls and one strike. One out, the base is empty. Swung on and chopped down the third baseline. Foul. And it moves to 3-2. and two. Here to... Jacob Ortega, or in Espanol, Jacobo Ortega, which I referred to him as that before. Three and two with one out in the third. Ben Garrett delivers, and that is a called strike three. A called strike three on the outside corner, and Ortega. He thought it was coming as a ball, didn't he? Did well, he, I mean, he took the pitch, yeah. Yeah, he. he and Ben was, Garrett records a strikeout. And here's J.P. Hamer. And for Garrett, that's his second strike out of the game. Hamer is 0 for 1. And he takes it there for a strike of the off-speed. Hamer hit that little flare that was caught by Cole in the first inning. And the 0-1. And that off-speed is up and away. One ball and one strike with two down in the third inning. And Brush leading 2-1. to one. It's really not a bad view from here for the no, plate. No, you can no, see not, good, huh? not at all. And the pitch. Swung on and chopped down the third base side. Foul. One ball and two strikes. You know, the only thing I'm missing here are, are Kevin's famous chicken wings. <laughs> I mean, that's all I hear is that you make incredible wings. Let's go run home and get them some. Well, no, I yeah. listen, I'm going to invite myself one time. I'll bring whatever you want. <laughs> Kevin makes the wings. <laughs> <laughs> One ball and two strikes in the pitch, and that is inside on the breaking ball. Ball two, strike two. 
Yeah, I mean, Kayla's talked them up like, I mean, this is restaurant quality. Have you not? Mm -hmm. I have. Okay, thank you. I just didn't want to convey false information, and that is up and in. Ball three, strike two to Hamer. Jimmy Keller's on deck. Sorry, I was just going to say full count. Just doing your job for you. Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> Three balls, two strikes. Ben Garrett comes home, swung on and popped foul and out of play. You know, it's funny because when you're inside the vehicle, you look outside and you say, ah, it doesn't look too bad. And then you take a couple of steps out there and you realized, and you realize how much the wind was playing havoc, not only with a broadcast, but as you mentioned, Kayla, with these pitchers. 3 2. Swung on that hits extremely high into foul territory. Ludgate giving chase, and it's off the fence, and it remains at 3-2. and two. Boy, had that descended a little bit earlier, it might have missed the fence, but it got a good piece of the fence, so it'll be another 3-2 pitch here to Hamer. And the eighth pitch of the at-bat with the bases empty in the third. When the visiting half with Brush leading Fort Morgan 2-1. to one. And let me tell you, if... Garrett continues to pitch this well. I wonder how the pitching staff could be restructured the remainder of the season. The 3-2 pitch, and that is up and away. It's a walk. And J.P. Hamers at first with two down here in the third inning. And a very dangerous hitter in Jimmy Keller, who's single, driving in a run in the first inning, steps in for the Mustangs. Now, in Fort Morgan's two losses... They've scored a total of six runs. They lost to Meade 4-2 to two and to La Junta 5-4 to four at the Hampton Inn Classic. And a pitch. Runner going swung on and popped up. Should be an easy play for the center fielder. Justin Griffith in three steps. Makes the grab. And Fort Morgan does not score here in the third. No runs on no hits, no errors, and a man left. We head to the bottom of the third inning. And the Brush Bee Diggers are leading the Fort Morgan Mustangs by a score of 2-1. to one. You're listening to Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. I'm John Beltran back at Sunset Baseball Field and Brush with Kayla and Kevin Castro here on the bottom of the third. Brush leads 2-1. to one. Oh, I'm giving Kevin full broadcast credit here. All right, without without his vehicle. Yeah, he hasn't even done. I know anything. it's a family vehicle. I parked this car in this position because I knew we were going to need it. There's no credit to Kev. One ball and no strikes. Grounded down the third base side. Foul by Gunnar Guzman. The count is even at one and one. Guzman grounded out back to the mound in the opening frame. Pitch number fifty coming up for Bobby Tolson. As both of Brush's runs have come via air as the pitch change up is in the dirt two balls and one strike you know when you have an 0-5 team taking on a 5-2 and two team the longer this game game goes and the longer it stays like this there's going to be a lot of pressure here on the Mustangs and that pitch is up and in 3-1 and one in the breaking ball and again Bobby just looking to establish control here three balls and one strike and the pitch and that is low and it's a walk to Gunnar Guzman. And for Bobby Tolson, I believe that's his fourth walk. Yep, that's his fourth walk issued. And that'll bring up Colin Cole, struck out looking in his first at bat. Guzman off a of first in the pitch. Swung on and fouled straight back. No balls in one strike. You need your vehicle and farm equipment to be in top shape, so check out Central Auto Parts of Fort Morgan. No balls, one strike, nobody out, bottom three. The Bee Diggers lead the Fort Morgan Mustangs 2-1. to one. Throw back the first, and boy, that nearly airmailed Nick Norris. He had to leap to come down with that baseball. Colin Cole down in the count, no balls and one strike. Tolson delivers. Swung on, grounded left side, headed for left field. A shortstop, Isaac Linker, backs up, and he's got no play. No play. That'll be a base hit for Colin Cole. And the B-Diggers come up with their first hit of the game. And now it's first and second with nobody out for Bryson Wooldridge. Now I wonder what Coach Fergus is going to do here. We haven't seen a ton of small ball from Brush this year because Jade Queen has proven he can hit. And he's on deck. If Woldridge can somehow bunt these runners over, then you're setting up a situation as Woldridge did walk in his first plate appearance that 
could be beneficial for Brush, and he takes a changeup for a strike. At the knees, it's no balls and one strike. Fort Morgan scored their lone run in the first inning. The B-Diggers countered with two in the second. Runners take their leads. Tolson looking back. Tolson looking in. And that's low. Again, a lot of all speed here from Bobby Tolson. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike, nobody out. The stretch and pitch and the breaking ball is a strike on the inside corner. That's one of the more effective pitches here thrown by Bobby Tolson. One and two here to Bryson Wooldridge. So he didn't have him squaring to bunt at all. He's going to hit away here down in the count, one, two. And he takes it down and away. Ball two, strike two. Again, with the off speed, trying to get the bead diggers out in front. Off of second is Guzman at first, Colin Cole. And Tolson comes home, swing and a mess. Boy, he pulled the string on that one. And Woldridge strikes out. A tremendous pitch there thrown by Bobby Tolson. And there's one down here for Queen, who was hit by a pitch. Yeah, and that's why, you know, a, a strategic move could have been trying to bunt the runners over. And the offering. Swung on and popped foul and out of play off to the right. No balls and one strike. That was Tolson's 60th pitch in just two and a third innings. Brush has already stranded four in the game, and they've got two out there with one out in the third. And the offering, swing and a miss. Again, pulled the string, and Queen was way out in front on that pitch down and in. No balls and two strikes. Here's where the inexperience comes in. You get some of the uh, starters here who've been starters for at least a couple of years, and they can anticipate a changeup. And even though Queen has hit the ball very well so far this season in his limited starts, he's facing a guy with a, a good off-speed pitch. Tolson, 0-2, and a curveball. That's a called strike three. Queen strikes out, and Bobby Tolson perhaps is finding a groove here for the Mustangs. It was two on and nobody out. Now there's two on and two down. And for Bobby Tolson, that is strikeout number four. Here comes Hunter Ludgate, who lined a second in the second. And the offering, that's a strike. So I'm a fastball there in the outer half at the knees. It's 0-1. Guzman has been at second and Cole at first for a while. And Tolson comes home. And he takes the breaking ball for a strike. Woo! That might have got the bottom of the zone there. The very bottom of the zone on the outer half. No balls and two strikes. Ludgate in a hole. Tolson trying to get out of a jam. And the 0-2 pitch. And that is outside. <laughs> you saw the Mustangs on the left side. Apple at third and Keller in left. They were running in thinking that was strike three. It looked pretty good from here, but it must yeah. have just missed. <laughs> must have just I, I thought it was pretty good from so here, but... but Cody Roth is a very consistent strike zone. Tolson steps off. One ball and two strikes. Two on, two out in the third. The stretch. And Tolson looks back. Big lead at second there. Runner goes to third in the breaking ball. Called strike three. And Bobby Tolson doing a tremendous job striking out the side in order after runners were at first and second. The Bay Diggers come up with no runs on one hit, no errors, and two men left. Let's head to the fourth after the break with a score. Brush two, Fort Morgan one. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the fourth inning here in Brush, where the Bay Diggers lead the Fort Morgan Mustangs by a score of two to one. And the Bay Diggers... And Ben Garrett with a 2-1 to one lead will have to face the 4, 5, and 6 hitters. Isaac Linker, Felix Ortega, and Austin Apple. Linker hit that towering fly ball in the infield that was caught by the pitcher Garrett. And this has got to be a confidence booster for Brush, an 0-5 team. Considering what they're doing in this game. Here against Fort Morgan. On Brush's home field. All right, so here, here we go with Linker to begin the fourth inning. The wind by Garrett to the pitch. And that changeup is down and away. 
One ball and no strikes. You need to talk about the wind. I think even throwing... If you're, if you're a fastball pitcher, it might be easier than throwing these off-speed off speed pitches, that is. That is upstairs. Two balls and no strikes to Linker. Justin Griffith threw very well in these conditions nine days ago in a 5-2 to two loss to Sterling. And the offering. And that is a little bit high as well. Boy, he's barely missing. Three balls and no strikes here to Linker. Fort Morgan trailing 2-1. to one. And the junior awaits the pitch. And that's a strike. Took something off it. Placed it down the middle. It's 3-1. and one. Yeah, a lot of these bead diggers are more than fully clothed, like Guzman at third with a jacket. And that is taken up and in. And it's a walk to Isaac Linker. And that'll bring up Felix Ortega. He walked his first time up. And for Ben Garrett... Yeah, we'll have to update. It looks like that might be, let's see, I believe his third or fourth walk. That is walk number, ah, we'll find it here in a second. Ortega swings and chops at a short. Queen is going to flip the second offline, but he makes the catch there. Cole does, and then the throw to first is wide of the target. Wolverine just to chase it down as it goes out of play. Nice job of Cole keeping his foot on the bag. And you can tell Queen does not play a regular short because that's normally a sidearm flip, but he kind of lifted his right arm and didn't make the best throw. And then Cole, who's normally not a second baseman, made an errant throw, allowing the hitter to advance. So it'll go as a fielder's choice, 6-4. to four. But again, with new positions, hard to blame the, uh, the bead diggers there across the board on what happened. Runner at second. Again, the air is going to be charged to the second baseman. Cole is second of the game. And the pitch to Austin Apple. Swag and a miss. No balls and one strike. Apple attempted to bunt in his first plate appearance, and it was caught by the catcher Ludgate. The tying run at second and Ortega. And the offering swung on and grounded to the third baseman. And a big hop. Guzman now fakes the third and fakes the first throws back to second and safe is linker he threw it too late he threw it too late the ball was dropped anyway but i think had the ball been caught and cole applied the tag that he still would have been safe because linker got under it no error that'll be scored a fielder's choice but guzman i think got rid of the ball just too late and on the fielder's choice you got first and second that's more of a mental error at that point i mean it was actually a good play by guzman to to fake that throw to first. But he should have thrown much sooner. And Ortega was back in. Not Linker there. Ortega was back in at second. So first and second for Fajardo. He grounded a third his first time up. The pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of the changeup. No balls and one strike. So it's been an unconventional inning. It began with a walk. Then a grounder to the shortstop queen for a 6-4 fielder's choice in the Trying to get the back end of the double play. The ball was thrown away. And then that fielder's choice. And that is taken. Oh, it hit him. Fajardo got hit by a pitch. It was tailing in. And now the bases are loaded for Nick Norris, who struck out swinging his first time up. So here's where Brush has got to make their mark. I mean, they had a, a chance for a 6-4-3 double play. And had that been made, that would have been a simple grounder to Guzman to end the inning. But instead... It's a big mess for Brush. Bases loaded, one out, with Fort Morgan trailing 2-1 to one here in the fourth inning. And the offering. Swing and a miss. And again, with that changeup tailing down in the zone and facing a sophomore, this is where the pitcher, Garrett, appears to have an advantage. No balls and one strike. Out of the windup with the bases full of Mustangs. And that's upstairs. The count is leveled at one and one. Ortega at third. Apple at second. Vajardo at first. When the top of the fourth inning. Garrett gets the sign from Ludgate. And he delivers. Swung on and popped up. On the right side. Make it the left side along the third baseline. The catch is made by Garrett. And there's two down. 
And again, he had the hitter Norris way out in front. He got underneath the baseball. That's the second time of the game. Garrett has caught a pop-up along the third baseline. And here's Devin Musman. He grounded out his first time up. This could be a big confidence booster for Brush in the fourth. Now with two down, Ben Garrett comes home. And that is low. One ball and no strikes to Musman. The Mustangs in their maroon jerseys, and the B Diggers also with their dark jerseys today. 1 0 pitch. Boy, he grooved that down the middle for a strike. Mossman was taking all the way, trying to build the count here. One ball and one strike. Again, Felix Ortega at third, Austin Apple at second, Connor Fajardo at first. With two down in the fourth inning, Fort Morgan trails by a run, the offering. And that is a strike down the middle. On the changeup, one and two to Devin Musman. Will the Mustangs respond or will the bead diggers hold Fort Morgan to a goose egg again? The pitch swung on and grounded foul up the right side towards the Mustang dugout. Count remains at one and two. Ben Garrett at 63 pitches thus far through three and two thirds. He's done, I mean, he's done a fantastic job against a lineup that has been pretty proficient in their victories. And the offering swung on and hit in the air and to uh, the shallow part of center field. The second baseman, Colin Cole, is able to make the catch. And the bead diggers do a tremendous job, and they get out of a jam here in the fourth inning. All right, for Fort Morgan, no runs on no hits, one air, and the bases were left loaded. Let's head to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's brush two, Fort Morgan one on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Back at Sunset Baseball Field. Fort Morgan leads brush by a score. Check that brush leads Fort Morgan, I should say, two to one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. John Beltran along with the Castrops tolerating me. And for the bead diggers, Josiah Henry, followed by Justin Griffith and Carson Rules. Josiah steps in, struck out swinging his first time up against Bobby Tolson, and that pitch is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. The game just over an hour old, and that change up down and away. It is 2-0 to Henry. Tolson struck out the side in order in the third. But he's also had issues with walks. He's walked four in the game. Five strikeouts overall. Swung on and grounded foul up the third base side. And the count goes to two balls and one strike. The Bay Diggers will be back in action on 10-10 as well as KSIR.com Saturday morning at 11 o'clock from Loveland against Resurrection Christian. We'll have Mustang baseball coming up next week on Wednesday against Walt Central here on B106, right here on B106, that is. That pitch is a strike down the middle. It's 2-2 two and two to Josiah Henry. And Bobby Tolson comes home, and that's down and away. Ball three, strike two. Here to the opening hitter for Brush in the bottom of the fourth. What's well, actually the fourth ball, John? I don't know what. I think we got off. Well, it said two and two on the board. I, yeah. I was following the board. All right. It's okay. All right. So then it was uh, three and one. Well, that will affect the pitch count here for. Yeah, I don't think I missed the pitch. I think there was a strike in there that was actually a ball. All right, here's Justin Griffith, and he swings and grounds it up the middle. Second baseman Musman has it play off his glove in a shallow center field for a base hit. And Justin Griffith now one for two, moving to second is Josiah Henry. And the bead diggers now have a couple of hits in the game. And here's Carson Rule. And again, you ask the question, are the bead diggers going to play small ball or allow Rule to hit away? And maybe this is the case that Brush does not have this in their repertoire. I mean, one thing is you have to have the uh, players to execute that. Or at least the practice. The players are certainly there, but you got to have enough practice. Off of second is Josiah Henry, Griffith at first. That was walk number five, by the way, for Tolson. And the breaking ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. 
Two runs on two hits for Brush. One run on one hit for Fort Morgan. Both teams have committed two errors. The Bay Diggers have stranded six. The Mustangs have left five on the base pass. 1-0. Swung on and popped up in the infield. That'll be the infield fly rule should be called. And that'll be caught by the pitcher, Tolson. There's one down. There's Ben Garrett. So one down. I'm trying to get the number there. It looks like Tolson's still out there, but I th saw, thought I saw a different number. All right, we'll find out here momentarily since we're so far away if changes are made. And the pitch. Swan, uh, breaky ball bunted third base side, and it's picked up. The throw to first is going to be high, and over the head of the first baseman, Norris. Josiah Henry's going to score, and the third is Griffith, and now into second off that excellent bunt is Ben Garrett, and the B Diggers now lead 3 to 1. All right, so now Brush has opened up a two run lead. I think you still have Bobby Tolson on the mound. Yeah, Tolson's, yeah, he's on the mound. All right, so it's three to one and two runners in scoring position. And the pitch is taken for a strike. It's Gunnar Guzman at the plate. We'll call it a bunt single and then an air on the Mustangs, allowing the run to score. Did you and know we have a. In. Swung on, grounded left side for a base hit. That's going to play to another run. Guzman is able to drive in a run as the B digger scored two in the frame. Yeah, Shane Wright's now to third. And it's now a four to one game as Justin Griffith crosses home plate. If you're looking for some good snacks, check out Willow Coffee and Bake Shop at 921 Edison Street and Brush. All right, so it's now four to one, first and third. And the B Diggers are threatening to break this thing open with only one out. And here's Colin Cole struck out and singled. He is one for two in the game. Four to one, brush the pitch. And the changeup is low. Now, unofficially, Tolson has thrown 77 pitches. And again, part of. This damage was his own fault walking the first hitter, a number nine hitter, and Josiah Henry to begin the fourth inning. Throw back the first. And a critical error in this inning on a bunt attempt that was thrown over the first baseman Norris's head. Here's the stretch and the offering. And that's upstairs. Two balls and no strikes. Cole at one point had walked four times in a row against Ken Denver and five times in a row overall. So his on-base percentage leads the B-Diggers this season. Four to one brush, bottom of the fourth inning. Two-0 pitch. Swung on. That ball is lifted down the right side into foul territory. And the ball is going to be caught out there by Ortega. The throw towards the plate. And that's going to be right there holding the runner up at third in Shane Wrights. And there's two down. As the play was made by Jacob Ortega. That was a good throw to home to to keep the runner at third. Well, he had his momentum going towards the plate. Here's Bryson Wooldridge. Wooldridge has walked and struck out. He's 0 for 1. But again, a Mustang air has contributed to one of the two B-Digger runs in this inning. And the offering. And the breaking ball is a strike. On the inner half to Bryson Wooldridge. No balls and one strike. However, credit Brush, they played that small ball with that bunt up the third base side by Garrett. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Again, Wooldridge didn't see that coming out of his hand. He threw him a breaking ball and missed it by a mile. It's 0-2. No balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, two in. And the offering. That is a ball runner going to second. The throw is high, and it's a stolen base for Guzman. No advance by the trail runner, Wrights. And now two runners in scoring position. But again, down in the count here. One ball and two strikes is Wooldridge. The offering 
Curveball swung on and grounded a short and charging his linker, and he throws in the run low and safe, and the ball skips by the first baseman, Norris, and another run is going to score as Gunnar Guzman crosses home plate. It'll be a single and the second air for Fort Morgan in the inning, and the B-Diggers now lead by a score of 6-1. to one. And I'm telling you, Fort Morgan's got to be stunned right now. Yeah, that low throw. And Norris, who hasn't played much first this season at the varsity level, could not scoop it. And Guzman came around third. Here's Jade Queen hit by a pitch and struck out. And he swings and fouls it off his foot. No balls and one strike. So the bead diggers have put together four runs in this inning, but they've earned some of them. But the Mustangs, with four errors in the game, including two miscues in this frame, and Queen trying to walk that off a little bit. Maybe you need a new windshield or want to spray on bed liner or truck accessories? Check out Smart Parts. They're not hard to find. 375 Charmony Frontage Road in Sterling. Swang and a miss and a pitch up and away. No balls and two strikes. With Ludgate getting ready to hit next. And Bobby Tolson might have one more inning in him, and that's about it. And the pitch, and that one is in the dirt. Ball one, strike two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Awaiting his queen. And the breaking ball is up and away again, two and two. Just think, John, if Kev would have talked me into buying one of these houses, we could be sitting in my front living room watching the game right now. <laughs> Apparently wasn't persuasive enough. No. Two and two. And the pitch. And that is swung on and fouled at the plate. Count remains at two and two. Here to Jade Queen, who for the bead diggers is the eighth hitter of the inning. Again, Bobby Tolson from the stretch. And the offering swung on. That ball is grounded into right field for a base hit. And the throw's gonna be made the first, and it's not a base hit. Ortega throws him out, and Kevin Fergus thought he was safe because Norris's foot was off the bag. But that's going to go as an out, not a base hit. That will go 9-3 to three as that ball was hit like a bullet out in right field. And Fergus doesn't like it, but the bead diggers are retired after scoring four runs on four hits, two errors, and a man left. Let's head to the fifth inning with a score. Brush six, Fort Morgan one on B106 and B106.com. You carry it. Let's head to the fifth inning. This is Morgan County's B106 KPRB. Brush Fort Morgan, John Beltran with Kayla Castrop and Kevin Castrop here from Sunset Baseball Field and Brush. And the bead diggers winning this game six to one. They were down one nothing after half an inning on Jimmy Keller's RBI single, but Brush came through. They've taken advantage of four Fort Morgan errors, but they've also come up with five hits. In fact, they're out hitting Fort Morgan five to one. And Ben Garrett begins his fifth inning of work and del delivers a pitch swung on and missed to Jacob Ortega. Ortega has reached on an error and scored and struck out looking. He's 0 for two. The right hander for Brush Garrett delivers. Swung on line foul down the left field line. No balls and two strikes. Yeah, Brush has done everything right here after the first inning. They played some small ball. They've hit the other way. They've sent runners. And when Fort Morgan commits the airs, the bead diggers have capitalized the pitch. Breaking ball is chopped to third. A big hop for Gunnar Guzman. And he throws a BB to first for the out. And Jacob Ortega is retired. And there's one down. Here in the fifth inning. And that'll send up J.P. Hamer, who popped out and walked. So officially he's 0 for 1. And that's what we mentioned at the outset. You cannot look at records when you talk about this Fort Morgan brush matchup, the pitch. And that is taken for a ball. One ball and no strikes. This will be an eye-opener for the Mustangs if they don't rally in this game. Down by 5 here in the top of the fifth inning. And the 1-0. And that changeup is inside. Two balls and no strikes. This young brush team is just playing really well. They're, I mean, they are. Well, this is their third game uh, starting together now. 
And the breaking ball is in there for a strike. Down the middle, it's two balls and one strike to J.P. Hamer. One out and the base is empty in the top of the fifth inning, and Brush leads by five. And Ben Garrett delivers. Swung on and foul to the screen. It's two and two. Cargill Meat Solutions committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at Cargill.com. Two balls, two strikes. Garrett comes home, and that is taken down and away. Boy, that was close. But it missed a hammer, three balls and two strikes. Check out Brush Grocery Cart for all your grocery needs. They're at 1302 West Edison in, in Brush. 3-2. Swung on and popped up to the center fielder, Justin Griffith, to his right. And he makes the two-handed grab. And there are two outs in this top of the fifth inning. That'll send up Jimmy Keller. Man, I mean, this is the shocker for me that Ben Garrett has not allowed a hit since the first inning. I mean, we're not talking about a seasoned veteran out there, and he's pitching like he's been a three-year starter on the hill. Very composed as well, extremely composed. Here's the wine and offering, and that is taken for a strike down the middle. No balls in one strike, thigh high there to Jimmy Keller. His RBI single was followed by a pop-up, and the curveball is high. That levels the count at one ball and one strike. And again, Fort Morgan slightly shorthanded without a big, strong hitter in Trey McBride. And the 1-1 swung on, hit in the air down the right side, and way foul and out of play. It's 0-2 here to Jimmy Keller. We're in the top of the fifth inning, and it's been all B-diggers leading 6-1, to one, looking for their first win of the year in this non-conference game. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Jimmy Keller strikes out, and Ben Garrett retires the side in order for the B-Diggers. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth inning. With the score, Brush 6, Fort Morgan 1. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Jimmy Keller is the new pitcher for Fort Morgan. All right, so that means we've got a change, obviously, in left field. Trevor Forbes is now the left fielder for the Mustangs. Jimmy Keller has been Fort Morgan's best pitcher this year, undoubtedly. And he's in to the game with the Mustangs. I'm sure shockingly for them, trailing winless brush 6-1. to one. And Ben Garrett has been the story for brush. I mean, he has done an incredible job on the hill, tossing a one-hitter through five innings. Keller will face Hunter Ludgate, Josiah Henry, and Justin Griffith. Ludgate lined out and struck out. So he's sitting at 0 for 2. Colorado Plains Medical Center has experienced physicians and a highly trained surgical team trained in the la latest uh, surgical procedures. Explore what procedures are possible in your hometown. That's Colorado Plains Medical Center. And the opening pitch at the bottom of the fifth inning by Keller is taken for a strike. Belt high, no balls and one strike to Hunter Ludgate, the number eight hitter in this lineup. Here's the wine in the 0-1, and that's in the dirt with a breaking ball. The count levels at 1-1. One and one. This was a 2-1 to one game, and then the B-Diggers exploded for four runs in the fourth. One ball and one strike, and Keller comes home. Curveball, check swing, and it's flared and caught by the second baseman, Musman, for the out. One down in the fifth inning. And that'll send up Josiah Henry. Henry struck out and walked. The line on Bobby Tolson, he goes four innings, throwing 89 pitches, allowing six runs, three earned. He walked five and struck out five. And the pitch is taken for a ball. One ball and no strikes to Josiah Henry. Jimmy Keller, big strong right-hander, delivers. And that pitch is upstairs. Two balls and no strikes. Six to one brush. 
in the bottom of the fifth inning. Keller comes home, and that's upstairs with the all-speed pitch up and in, 3-0, and and Henry's already been walked in this game, and the Mustangs are in danger of putting him on base again via the free pass. 3-0 and on the pitch. That fastball's there for a strike down the middle. It's 3-1. and one. Laying down the sign is Fajardo. Could be a straight-up fastball and a 3-1. Swung on and popped up towards the pitcher, Keller. And Keller, along the first base side, makes the catch, and there's two down. I mean, I haven't... It is rare that I see this many pop-ups towards a pitcher. I, that's probably, I think, three or four in this game. Two that were caught by Garrett. All right, with two down, here's Justin Griffith. Walked, reached on an air, and singled. And Griffith has scored in the game. And the pitch is taken for a strike. No balls and one strike. In fact, the bead diggers have had six different players score a run. For the left side, Griffith awaits the 0-1. Takes a breaking ball and he fouls it straight back. No balls and two strikes. And what do the Mustangs have to do to solve Ben Garrett? They didn't anticipate having trouble, but they have. Swung on and grounded right back to Keller. And Keller will fire to first. And just like Ben Garrett did for Brush, Jimmy Keller for Fort Morgan registers a 1-2-3 inning in this fifth inning. Let's head to the sixth after the break with a score. Brush 6, Fort Morgan 1. You're listening to Mustang B-Digger Baseball on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Standing out at the one... Brush 6, Fort Morgan 1 as we head to the top of the sixth inning. And for the Mustangs, they will send up Isaac Linker, Felix Ortega, and Austin Apple against Ben Garrett, 77 pitches strong in this game unofficially. And he's allowed just one hit. And really the one hit was just a, a chopper. Up the third baseline, hit by Jimmy Keller that drove in Fort Morgan's only run. That pitch is down and away. One ball and no strikes. Linker popped to the mound, and he also walked. So he's 0 for 1 officially. And the 1-0 pitch. And that's taken for a strike. Belt high on the outer half. It's 1-1. One and one. I mean, these are the type of games that for Brush, it could turn your season around. 1-1 one, one pitch. Upstairs, ball two, strike one. And like I said, I mean, I don't know if Ben Garrett was in the original plans to be a starting pitcher on this team. But after this performance, <laughs> there's he's, no doubt. He's looked good, really solid. Swung on and popped up on the right side into foul territory. Woodridge, the first baseman, cannot make the play. It hits the top of the batting cage. And it's two and two. Now, this has been awesome for somebody so young to be this good against a team in Fort Morgan that is 5-2 going in and has sustained two close losses to ranked teams in Meade and La Junta. This is incredibly impressive, even without McBride in the lineup. And the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and grounded a short. Jade Queen has got it. He sets. He throws to first, and there's one down as Isaac Linker is retired, and the B-Diggers are simply just making plays out there. That's one thing about some of those older boys being gone on that trip. It's opening up some great positions for these younger guys to show what they're made of. That's what I'm saying because, <laughs> you know, they, some of these are not going to be in the lineup. Some of these players here come April. Felix Ortega walked and hit into a fielder's choice, and he swings and fouls it straight back. No balls in one strike. I'm John Beltran with Kayla Castro. Kevin in the backseat enjoying the view. It is a good view, isn't it? View. It is. Seriously, it's a it's great warm. view. It's warm. Well, that's what all I care about. The pitch and the breaking ball is up and in. One ball and one strike. Here to Felix Ortega. One down in the top of the sixth inning. And Ben Garrett's getting on a roll. He's retired, I believe, the last five or six. We'll have to check it. Swung on and hit foul and out of play. Off to the right. One and two. He's got these Mustangs out in front. I mean, there have been some ground balls hit. But again, a couple of fly balls to the pitcher, a couple to the center fielder, Griffith. They're getting out in front of that changeup. And now the 1-2. And that went behind the hitter. Two balls and two strikes. 
I'm sure Coach Fergus would like Garrett to finish this off, but the Mustangs are having other ideas and trying to rally here in the sixth inning before the game gets to the seventh. Here's the wine and the offering. Swung on hit on a slow roller to second, and Colin Cole flips it to first as it was fisted out there in a slow hop, and there's two down. Well, that was he really jammed them there. And it kind of squibbed towards the second baseman. Here's Austin Apple who's popped out and hit into a fielder's choice. He's sitting at 0 for 2. Here's the wine and pitch. That's down and away. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, that officially is seven in a row retired by Ben Garrett. The offering. Swung on, grounded right side, second baseman Cole has it go right under his glove into right field, and the Mustangs will still hit in this inning. And it's the third air of the game by the second baseman Cole. And Connor Fajardo will now hit. Well, there, even though he's not familiar with the position, you almost have to play that like a catcher, where you just block it like a catcher because the throw is so short to first. But he tried to really play it like a second baseman, but didn't get his glove down. So the Mustangs stay alive for Brush. That is their third error of the game, all on the same player. Fort Morgan's got four. The stretch by Garrett. Throw back to first, and back in diving is Apple. Yeah, now they could jeopardize Garrett going the distance, because he's got to throw a few more pitches in this inning. And I'm not sure who Coach Fergus would bring in in the seventh. Garrett delivers, and that's upstairs. That was pitch number 90, one ball and no strikes. Premier Farm Credit has been proudly supporting agriculture and rural communities for over 100 years. As Premier Farm Credit, Sterling, Fort Morgan, Yuma, and Holyoke. Garrett comes home, swung on, line down the third baseline, headed for the corner, around second is Apple. He's going to stay right there because of an excellent job of Josiah Henry getting to that baseball. And now first and second. That's the first hit for Fort Morgan since the first inning. So Fajardo comes through. Here's Nick Norris. And we'll have a visit to the hill. Now Norris has struggled here. He struck out and popped up to the pitcher. Thank you, Carl. Bank of Colorado is a proud supporter of local sports and academics. There's only one Colorado and one bank dedicated to help you make the most of living here. They're just they're not just a bank in Colorado, they're Bank of Colorado, member FDIC. All right, so Ben Garrett will be facing Yeah, that doesn't look like Norris. Can you see who that is, Kevin? Yeah, I'm I'm not sure, but that's a pitch hitter up there. The stretch. And the offering, down and away. Yeah, this is where this angle is hurting us. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, that's definitely not Norris. In fact, that could be. That could be Trevor Forbes up there, who came into the game. The pitch, taken for a strike. One ball and one strike. Yeah, that might be Forbes who came in to play left field. But don't have a confirmation on that from this angle. The offering. Swang and a miss. Garrett threw it right by him. One ball and two strikes. First and second, two down. An error and a base hit. I've got those runners in the base pass. One and two, the stretch by Garrett. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded on the right side. The pitcher Garrett has got it underhands to first. And again, the Mustangs are held off the scoreboard here in the top of the sixth inning. No runs, one hit, one error, and two men left. Let's head to the bottom of the sixth in brush where the Bee Diggers continue to surprise the Mustangs, leading 6-1 to one on B106 and B106.com. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning in brush. Brush 6, Fort Morgan 1. The Mustangs scored their lone run in the first inning, and the B-Diggers countered with 2 in the second and 4 in the fourth. Jimmy Keller, who retired the only three hitters he faced in the fifth inning, will be facing the two, three, and four hitters for Brush. Carson Rule 
Ben Garrett, and Gunnar Guzman. And now the sun is out in full force. That doesn't mean that the wind is not kicking up here. Here's the wine and pitch, and that is upstairs. Carson Rule has grounded out twice. And he's also reached on an air by the first baseman Norris at that time. And a pitch swung on and popped behind the plate and out of play. The catcher Fajardo giving chase. And it's one ball and one strike. Yeah, that might be Tolson over at first base, and that's why Trevor Forbes was probably hitting in that spot there to end the top of the sixth inning. And the 1-1 one -one by Keller. That's taken up and away. Ball two, strike one. Only two hits for the Mustangs against Ben Garrett. And the pitch by Keller. Swung on and fisted on the ground on the right side. Second baseman, Musman, sidearms to first for the out, and there's one down. So one down. Here for Ben Garrett. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. See them online at morgancc.edu or stop by their campus. Ben Garrett has walked grounded into a fielder's choice and then had a bunt single. He's one for two and that, that bunt resulted in two runs because there was an air on the back and he swings and misses at the changeup. No balls in one strike. Yeah, baseball can be very humbling. Fort Morgan came into this game very confident despite not having Trey McBride swung on and lined down the right side and coming in is Ortega and he makes the catch. Jacob Ortega Got a running start there in right field and was able to snag that line drive for out number two. And that'll send up Gunnar Guzman, who grounded out, walked, and singled in a run. So he's one for two in the game. And Keller has retired all five bead diggers he's faced. And Jimmy Keller comes home. Swung on, hit in the air into deep left field, going way back as Forbes, and that's a home run! That is a home run on the hanger by Gunnar Guzman, and the beat diggers now lead 7-1 to one in the bottom of the sixth inning. Holy Mahungus! There we go. <laughs> Pulled the Mahungus out of John Bell. And that barely, barely cleared the left field fence, but it was enough. And Gunnar Guzman now has two hits in the game to go along with his second RBI. And Kevin, that to me looked like he hung it there, didn't he? he did. Yeah, it looked like he just hung a... He sat on it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's it. I mean, if you read that pitch out of the hand like Guzman did, he had a, a full swing there. The pitch swung on and lined down the right side foul. That is Colin Cole at the plate. Struck out, singled, and popped out. Check out Western Engineering Consultants online at westerneci.com, the municipal, commercial, and residential engineering in Colorado. Uh, once again, Western Engineering Consultants in the dirt. In fact, the first run scored by the B Diggers in that second inning brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. One ball, one strike, two down, a run in on Gunnar Guzman's home run. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded right side to the first baseman. An easy play. And now the ball is dropped. Uh, and that's going to be an error on the right side. Again, I'm that, not sure who's over at first base. Well, whoever yeah, that is ball. Tolson. All right, that is Tolson at first base committing the error. And he thought he had it in his glove. He was running over towards first, and the ball got away. And this has been a disastrous game here for Fort Morgan. As that already... Let's see, that's got to be at least five errors for the Mustangs. Yeah, that's five right now. Here's Bryson Wooldridge. And that was a very easy play. He thought he had the ball in his glove and didn't look it in. And Keller delivers. That's taken for a strike. Wooldridge walks, struck out, and singled. He's one for two. Thank goodness you have great vision. Thank goodness. The stretch and the pitch. And the breaking ball swung on and missed. Waldridge swung at that two days ago, and it got there now. That was a, a very early swing. 
Kevin's shaking his head yes in the back seat. 0 oh and 2. Keller looks back with a runner at first and two down to the bottom of the sixth inning. And he comes home. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. And Fajardo will pick it up and he fires low to first, but it's dug out there by Tolson. And that will complete the strikeout. However, the Brush B Diggers extend the lead on a Gunnar Guzman home run. There was an error in the inning as we head to the seventh inning of play. The Brush B Diggers putting on the display, leading the Fort Morgan Mustangs 7 to 1 on B106 and B106.com. Bailey Mechanical Up. We head to the seventh inning in Brush where the B Diggers lead the Fort Morgan Mustangs 7 to 1. And Fort Morgan will be sending up the 9 1 and 2 hitters. Devin Musman, Jacob Ortega, and JP Hamer. 0 for 2 is this hitter for Fort Morgan. Ben Garrett attempted to go the distance. His 96 pitch is a changeup for a strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. An incredible two hit performance so far. The offering. Swung on, grounded up the middle. The shortstop, Queen cannot get to it. It's a base hit to center field. The third Mustang hit of the game. It comes from Musman. So the Mustangs attempted to generate a rally here in the seventh. And here's Jacob Ortega. He's reached on an air, struck out and grounded out. He's 0 for 3. And he's got a big, strong bat, does Ortega. The B-Diggers are at double play depth. Fort Morgan down by six in the seventh. Garrett delivers. That's taken for a strike. Very composed as Garrett right down the middle belt high. It's 0-1. Yeah, he's had these hitters off balance with the off speed. And Garrett looks back and the offering. Swung on and grounded a third. Guzman backhands it, drops the ball, picks it up. He'll have no play. And that'll be an error on the third baseman, Guzman. And now the bead diggers are in some trouble here in the seventh. J.P. Hamer will now hit. And for Brush, that's their fourth error of the game. And we've seen a couple of plays where fielders have had the ball or thought they had the ball in their glove, and then they, they dropped it for some reason. On both teams. On that's Right, smart. on both sides. Looking back is Ben Garrett, the pitch. And that changeup is a strike at the knees. It's 0-1. That was pitch number 100 unofficially. J.P. Hamers popped a second, walked, and hit a fly ball to the center fielder, Griffith. No balls and one strike. And a pitch. And that fastball is upstairs, and the count levels at 1-1. One one. Now you have to wonder if it will be Justin Griffith to close this game out for Brush. As Garrett is not going to be able to go the distance unless he induces a double play here at some point. And the offering. Boy, that's a beautiful pitch. That all-speed pitch is there for a strike down the middle, thigh high. One ball and two strikes to J.P. Hamer. Jimmy Keller, who's one of Fort Morgan's best hitters, is on deck. And a 1-2. Down and away. Two balls and two strikes. With nobody out here in the top of the seventh inning. And Brush in the lead 7-1 to one on their home field against Fort Morgan. Looking back. And the offering. Swung on. Lined. And that is fair. Headed into the corner. Henry's going to chase it down around third as Musman. He will score. And two-third as Ortega into second with the RBI double is J.P. Hamer. And it's Brush 7. Fort Morgan 2 in the top of the seventh inning. And here is Jimmy Keller. And we should have a pitching change coming up. Brought to you by Greg Mullen at State Farm Insurance. All Auto Life and Health State Farm Insurance is there for you and your family. And Justin Griffith, that makes sense. He'll be called upon here to try to nail it down for the B-Diggers. But the Mustangs are making a comeback as they are down 7-2 to two after scoring a run. And that looks like that going to be Shane Wright's. 
That's what I'm thinking. I believe headed to center field. We'll keep it right here. Justin Griffith is 0-2 on the season. The hard luck loser against Sterling nine days ago. But he's got some good off-speed stuff. So Griffith on the mound. It'll be right to center. And that appears to be it. Yeah, I think Garrett will just take a seat on the bench. Great pitching by Ben Garrett, though. Well, I mean, he was outstanding through six innings. And even in the first hit to lead off this inning, that was a ground ball up the middle. But then eventually the Mustangs were able to capitalize. J.P. Hamer hits that double. In fact, they've got a couple of hits in this inning. Well, actually, that was that was the hit in this inning. No, two hits in the inning, but the air by Guzman has cost Brush at least a little bit. All right, so here we go. It'll be Ortega third, Hamer at first, and Jimmy Keller at the plate. And the heart of the order is coming up. Linker and Felix Ortega behind him. And they will have to deal with left-hander Justin Griffith. In the 7-2 game, the Bay Diggers had scored seven unanswered runs. When you need ice, don't settle for just any old frozen water. Get AC ice. You can find it at any local grocery or convenience store near you. All right, so stepping actually, in. Actually, Shane Wrights is going into left, and they're moving rule to center. Looks like. Or right, I'm sorry, right, and they're moving uh, rule to center. That update brought to you by Kayla Castro. That is correct. <laughs> so Shane Wright, so you've got two left-handed outfielders in there along with the right-handed throwing, Josiah Henry. So here's Jimmy Keller. Keller is one for three. An RBI single popped out and walked, and the changeup is a strike. At the knees, no balls in one strike. Second and third, and nobody out here for Fort Morgan as they're threatening in the seventh. They've got one across already on J.P. Hamer's double. The pitch, check swing foul to the first base side, and it's 0-2. Yeah, this could really swing momentum one way or the other. A B-digger victory of the, or the Mustangs can make a huge comeback here. The offering upstairs one ball and two strikes Ben Garrett is the pitcher of record well would be the pitcher of record if Brush wins this game pitcher of record for Fort Morgan is Bobby Tolson curveball is grounded slowly down the third base side picked up by Griffith throw to first is high and late it's an infield hit neither runner advanced it's the third hit of the inning for Fort Morgan and the bases are now loaded that's going to be a swinging bunt, essentially, there for Jimmy Keller. He's got two hits, and here comes Isaac Linker, and this game is far from over. Linker has popped out, walked, and grounded out. He's 0 for 2. Fort Morgan had two hits coming into the inning, the pitch, and he takes it for a strike on the outside corner. No balls and one strike. And they have picked up three hits in this frame. With the bases loaded out of the stretch and the offering. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes here to Isaac Linker. He's got to come through for the Mustangs. That's what they're thinking right now with the bases loaded and nobody out and one across in the seventh. Griffith gets a sign. And the 0-2. Swung on, hit in the air into right center field. That one might drop. That one is going to drop for a base hit. Wrights is going to pick up the baseball right now, and one run will score as Jacob Ortega crosses home plate on that Texas leaguer by Isaac Linker, and the Mustangs now trail 7-3 to three here in the seventh. Wow. I mean, we got a brand new ball game. Nobody out, and the tying run is at the plate in Felix Ortega. And again, out of the stretch, and Griffith again just... Pitching into bad luck there. That's a strike. Well, it's just getting the out at any base at this point for Brush. But the Mustangs have come to hit here in the seventh. And the 0-1.
Swung on and lifted to left field and way back is Henry towards the track. He shy the track, makes the catch, tagging up is Hamer from third. He will score. It's a sack fly by Felix Ortega, and the Mustangs have played it three in the seventh. There to within three. It's seven to four. And I tell you, when he hit that ball, I was thinking, man, that might have a chance to leave the yard. I thought it was too. It was pretty deep back but there. But you heard a heavy sound off the bat as opposed to a ping. Austin Apple 0 for 3 at the plate. And the pitch takes the changeup for a strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Fajardo is on deck. Brush 7, Fort Morgan 4. With one out in the 7th. Runners take their leads. And the offering swung on and lifted into shallow right center field. That could be trouble. And that one is going to drop for a base hit in front of right. And that's another hit for the Mustangs in the inning. Another Texas leaguer, and the bases are reloaded. And here's Fajardo. I'm telling you, Fort Morgan is finding the right holes here. Yeah, that was two balls dropped right about in the same location, just within a couple batters. Well, and Wright's played it very conservatively. He didn't take a chance there. He wanted to make sure that he kept the ball in front of him. Fajardo was one for two, the pitch. And that's a strike. At the knees, no balls in one strike. Fajardo grounded to third, was hit by a pitch, and had a base hit to left. Bases loaded. Out of the stretch is Griffith, and the 0-1. Swung on and foul to the screen. No balls in two strikes. Fort Morgan now is out hit brush 7-6 to six with five hits in this inning. But the B-Diggers lead the game 7-4. to 0-2 oh, pitches coming here from Griffith. To Fajardo with one out in the seventh. Check swing, that's high. Went with a fastball, one ball and two strikes. Who expected this game to come down to this the way that Fort Morgan was unable to hit the baseball and Brush was going? But these Mustangs have not quit at all. No, they picked up a little bit of momentum here. One ball, two strike pitch. And that is taken high on the changeup. Two and two. Two and two here to Fajardo. Griffith comes home. Swung on and popped up into left center field. A long run for Henry, and he's going to make the grab. Runner tags from third, and Keller will score at 7-5 to five on the sack fly from Fajardo. Let's see who's coming up here. And it will be Trevor Forbes. I say, you see the athleticism of... Henry, I mean, it was a, a he made it into a routine play. He did. He didn't stop running. He just followed with the ball really well. The other runners held up. Forbes grounded to the mound and is only at bat. Seven to five. Fort Morgan has got the tying run at first base. And the pitch. That's a strike. Took something off it at the knees. Down the middle, it's 0-1. Fort Morgan trying to complete the rally. Down by six to begin the frame. And now down by two. Runners take their leads. And the pitch, swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes. Linker at second, Apple at first. We're in the seventh. Justin Griffith trying to close and slam the door on the Mustangs. At the belt, 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And the Brush B-Diggers have defeated the Fort Morgan Mustangs in Brush, picking up their first win of the season. 7-5 to five for the Mustangs in the seventh, a valiant effort at rally. Four runs on five hits, one error, and two men left. Brush seven, Fort Morgan five, and momentarily, <laughs> we'll be taking a break here. As you are listening to Mustang Bee Digger Baseball on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Hi, the post-game show is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center, your headquarters for your home farm and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed with three locations to serve you, Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan, Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center as the, as the Fort Morgan Mustangs fall to the Brush Bee Diggers by a score of 7-5. to five. All right, let's get the line here in this game. Seven runs on six hits for Brush, four errors, eight left on base. 
five runs, seven hits, five airs, and nine left on base for Fort Morgan. The winning pitcher was Ben Garrett. He pitched into the seventh inning, and the loss in the game went to Bobby Tolson. Time of the game, one hour and 53 minutes as the Bay Diggers pick up their first victory of the year. Jimmy Keller's RBI single in the first inning gave Fort Morgan a 1-0 lead. The Bay Diggers, though, would respond with two runs in the bottom of the second inning as Justin Griffith would reach on an air, and that played at Bryson Woolridge. Then Jade Queen would score as Carson Rule reached on an air. It was 2-1 as the game ventured to the bottom of the fourth inning, and that's when the Bee Diggers started to break the game open as Ben Garrett had a perfect bunt and air was committed on the play, making it 3-1. Gunnar Guzman, who had two RBIs in the game, had an RBI single, making it 4-1. to one. And then the Bee Diggers scored two more runs as Bryson Woolridge had a base hit plating Ben Garrett. That would make it 6-1. to one. Another run scored on that play on an air. And then Gunnar Guzman would homer in the bottom of the sixth inning for a 7-1 to one brush lead. However, the Mustangs came back in the seventh inning as they were able to generate five hits in the seventh inning. And Fort Morgan had the tying run at first base. But the uh, Justin Griffith would come in after J.P. Hamer had an RBI double. And then they just kept going. Isaac Linker with an RBI single. Felix Ortega with a sack fly. Another sack fly in the inning by Connor Fajardo. But then Justin Griffith was able to close the door. And the final score today, 7-5, to five, as the Brush B Diggers pick up their first victory of the year against five losses. And for Fort Morgan, they dropped to 5-3 and three on the season. We'll have Mustang baseball coming up on Wednesday when they take on the Weld Central Rebels. That game in Keensburg will start at 6 o'clock right here on B106 and B106.com. As for the B-Diggers, they're back in action Saturday morning in Loveland against Resurrection Christian, and that will begin at 11 a.m. on 1010 KSR and KSR.com. Certainly a, a swing game. This is a swing game for the B-Diggers, who are 0-5 going in, but they pull off the victory here against the Fort Morgan Mustangs in Brush. All right, thanks to uh, Kayla and Kevin Castro. The final score, once again, from Sunset Baseball Field in Brush. The Bee Diggers 7 and the Fort Morgan Mustangs 5 on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com.